So just recently I've been working on an older computer that I'm going to try and repurpose for video capture for some of my motherboard reviews and some retro computer gaming. Um, it's a dual core. It's an older MSI PN6 SLI motherboard. The one thing it doesn't have though is it doesn't have USB 3 ports. And I actually do need that um, with my capture card and the capture software. It refuses to operate under USB 2 protocols. So I went on Amazon and I found this FebSmart and it's a $14 USB 3 PCI Express Type 1 card. I uh, ordered it, came in two days and hopefully this will fit the bill. Uh, see it comes with the card Got the little car there with two ports, PCI Express, Type 1. And um, the one thing that this card advertises is that it comes amplified. Uh, so it provides actually additional, it's, um, it's actually step up on the electricity, on, on, on the voltage and the amps here. So it should provide anything I need as far as additional power. Um, and the PCI Express 1 slot should give me 75 watts regardless. Comes with a little driver CD, and reading the reviews on Amazon, uh, many folks were saying just to go on the website and download the exact driver I need from FebSmart. Don't trust the CD, but we'll see what that has for us. Uh, we have a screw, and we have a low profile bracket with it also. Very nice. Don't need this though, but we'll set that aside. And then it does come with instructions. And it should be fairly simple. The one thing that I will need to do is I am going to actually need to install the drivers under Windows 7 64-bit. Uh, if this were Windows 10 or 8.1, uh, this should self-install. The drivers would already be in the operating system. So we'll crack open the chassis, we'll throw it in, and we'll see what we're dealing with for $14. So for you purists out there, along with myself, I'm probably asking a lot for a rebuilt dual core. Um, so it's a, it's a Core 2 E7600, runs at 3.05 gigahertz. It is overclockable on this motherboard. I haven't gone through that yet. I might do another video trying to overclock the board as far as I can, just on regular air cooling. This is just the Intel stock cooler. It does have a copper slug core though. I will say that. Um, I'm using an older Radeon 5850. Uh, the max resolution on this is uh, 1080p and it does have one gig of RAM, uh, DDR RAM. And I am running six gigabytes of RAM on the motherboard. I've got two, four, five, six. And this motherboard supports a maximum of eight minus what they call overhead. Um, this was all I had for DDR2 800 RAM was just the six gigs. Don't have a lot of it laying around. I have a lot of smaller sticks laying around, but nothing large. And I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put this bad boy right in here. This is my first, I have to admit, I don't know if any of you have ever ordered one. This is my first PCI Express Type 1 card that I've ever owned. Because you just, I mean, how often do you have to order one of these? Fit right in. It feels like it's not going to want me to connect that bracket very well. It's very flexible. Don't exactly like that. I think I'm going to actually bend this just a little. Breaks my heart to do that. Just bend it a little so I can actually screw it down. It fits very loosely in the slot. It feels loose. I want to get the fit right. I can always bend it back. Let's see how that looks. You get what you get when you order Chinese cards. A 
We'll secure this and we'll fire it up. All right, that looks pretty good. Uh, one more thing, I am running uh, just a spare 250 gig SSD, SanDisk, SATA, and that's it. There is nothing extraneous on this system. My only intent is just to use the USB 3.0 for video capture. So we'll go ahead and fire it up and uh, see what we get. I apologize for the light reflections on the screen. I don't have my video capture software set up. Uh, let's go ahead and power on and see what happens. Driver software not successfully installed. I'll bet that is our USB 3 card. What do we got? USB input device ready to use, no driver found. Excellent. Well, I'll go ahead and get the driver on this computer, then we'll load it and we'll see what we're dealing with. All right, so we went ahead and got a hold of the driver from the website, FebSmart, and extracted it. And um, we'll go ahead and install that. It looks like everything's working. I think we'll go ahead and plug in the video capture and see what we get. See our start check, capture device, device driver installed successfully. It was installed successfully yesterday. We have our capture device. So the key now is to see if this will run. Yesterday we got a USB 2 error. Hot diggity dog, I think we're in business. So I went ahead and turned on my Athlon X64-2 computer and we should be getting some video in if we change this to VGA. And there it is. We are up and running. Well, for $14, I don't have a uh, keyboard or a mouse connected to that computer. I'm actually borrowing it for this one. Um, look at that, it works. That is most excellent. So for $14, I've got my stream catcher, my StarTech stream catcher device working uh, on an older dual core system. And I think we're ready to go. Again, um, I'll put a link to the USB 3 device in the description of my video. If you like what I've done here tonight, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We're going to be doing some old motherboard reviews and some benchmarking of some of these video cards and sound cards that I show in my, um, in my YouTube channel introductory video for Uncle Mike Retro. And uh, again, I'll see you on, on the next video. Thanks for joining in.